and welcome to Get Planting and today I'm going to be planting up an iris display for your home this winter. So I've been to the local charity shop and got this nice container which is an old sort of bowl or vintage potty. It has this lovely blue detail on the outside and I've filled the inside up with peat free multi-purpose compost and I've added a bit of grit as bulbs like to be quite free draining. This container has no holes at the bottom but you don't need to worry too much for when you have bulbs inside the home as you will only need to water the surface of them when they dry out. So I've got about 20 irises here and these are dwarf irises so they're only going to get up to about 10 centimetres tall when they flower but they can put on a beautiful display in the January time of year. So what I'm going to do is just spread them evenly across the surface of the pot so that they're nicely sort of packed into the, the compost layer. Obviously the pointy part needs to be facing up the way as that's where the new shoot will come. So this is a lovely variety called George and it's a beautiful purple flower. And once this is all planted up, I'm going to put it in my allotment greenhouse and let it chill there for a couple of weeks until I start to see the shoots emerge and then I'll bring it into my home and enjoy it during the winter months. So that's all the bulbs nicely arranged on the top of this beautiful planter. And the last thing I've got to do, I'd sort of, I'm sort of placing them into the top of that compost and making sure they're nice and nestled in the top. Then just to secure them and to provide a decorative mulch, I'm using some crushed shell, which is 100% recycled. And I'm just going to put that over the top of them and that'll cover them up so that they are nice and hidden as they emerge later on. So I'm just adding the shell onto the top. So you want to cover them over completely with this shell mulch all the way over. And it's a lovely decorative light colour this shell so it'll be lovely when the irises start to emerge through this later on. So that's it, perfect. And then just to get it started, when I'm gonna put it in that greenhouse on the allotment, I'll just give it a little bit of water, not too much, but a bit just to get the bulbs started and start to uh, put down their roots into the planter. You never want your bulbs to be saturated in water. So that's it. And I'm really looking forward to Iris Reticulata, George, putting on a wonderful big display in my home later on in the year.